Oh, it's just such a beautiful day out today. The rain, the disturbingness of all of these weird heads, head statues. This is worse than, I was gonna say Stonehead, Stonehenge, Stonehenge. Whatever. But, you know, it's, it's, it's an awful area here. I'm thinking more of Easter Island. This is worse than Easter Island. Easter Island is very disturbing. But yeah, there's definitely a shrine that's like probably right by that one tree that kind of looks like a teddy bear. I don't know, it kind of does in my opinion, but this has a really weird face. He's just like, oh, I'm a teddy bear. But uh, yeah. Oh, yes. I can take some Stamella. Stamellas are my speciality. But yeah, it's it's definitely like right there. It has to be. There's no other explanation that I currently have. So anyway, I'm just going to teleport out of here, I think. It's the best option because I wonder. I don't actually have the kind of uh, ability to not freeze to death while I'm at that shrine, but I might be able to tell my... Uh, what do you call it? I can give my spirit orbs to that one goddess statue, but I'm gonna just go to the Temple of Time because it's safer, and uh, another important thing that I can do here is that at the Temple of Time, I can do some cooking. Because I have another important shrine that I must attempt today, which is going back and attacking the evil monster creature that is known as a guardian. Well, it's like a mini guardian, and he is not very friendly to me. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to that. But I have a lot of incredibly brilliant strategies, including food. Because if you have buffs on you, you can't be beaten. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Because I can probably be naked and I can go in there. I can take off my bandana, wipe the sweat from my lips with it. Can your lips even get sweaty, really? I don't know. I've been in some kind of sweaty situations before of being in my car, because my car is black and it has no air conditioning, and it's... If it's in the sun during the summer, it's just like, <laughs> man, this is really hot here. Also... Did they patch the game to make this have more grass? This looks ha like it has more foliage than before. Maybe. Because people are saying like, oh, this doesn't look like the demos from E3 that one year. We must complain. Complain, complain, complain. Oh, it's a baked apple. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I don't actually, this, this is not the cooking area. But this is. Oh, green rupee. No way. Oh no, I need you, lizard. Partially, but what was that? Oh! I need to switch my arrows off of that. Balls. That's really bad because I don't have very many arrows to begin with, and now I have even less by one. Oh man. But yeah, people were complaining, so I think they, they put more grass in, in one of the patches. It's probably completely not, no difference whatsoever, but... They, they did it, yeah. They, they did it. Also, I just thought of something. Because, uh... You know... Oh, yes. How, uh... Swords are magnetic. Does that... Oh, it just does that if you're anywhere. But I think if I was slightly closer, I would be able to grab it. Which would be pretty cool. This Because King Arthur is... Amazing that he's able to pull a sword out of rock, but you know what's better of being able to pull a sword out of rock? Is it worth it to even fight him? Is there a way of fighting without any weapons? Ah, whatever. I one hit him, but I'll grab a Boko Club just in case I need to fight weaklings. And you know, it's, it might as well just keep it out. And I'm just gonna smash a bunch of pots while I'm here with it. Boko Clubs are worthless anyway. Ah, oh, arrows. This is the reason to come back to the Temple of Time, because you get five arrows each time you come here. It's so, so good. I need those arrows badly. I don't want to spend, like, 80 rupees on five arrows. Hello, Goddess Statue. Would you mind giving me a little bit more stamina? Yes. 
I would very much like my wheel to be full of cheese once more. Oh, look at this thing. Every single time, it's just like I've touched it for the first time. So it feels like the first time. The very first time of filling up my stamina vessel. Ah, yes. See, I just need one more to get a full ring. So, three more shrines. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, I don't think, but... I want a full wheel before I upgrade my hearts. Well, a full secondary wheel. Th before I go into the third wheel, I can probably get, like, enough hearts to get the Master Sword, maybe? I don't know. It's difficult to say, but the- th Shenron's back! What is Shenron doing? Because, like, look at him. He doesn't have any evil eyes on him. He looks to be just the proper normal Shenron. So, I think that maybe if I hit him with an arrow, then I will get the uh, special, special thing of getting a scale from him, and then I can use it to purify something, somewhere. Or I could eat it, because that's what apparently that other scale could do from that one dragon. I don't know. I gotta find a cooking pot, first and foremost. The closest cooking pot might actually be over in this forest. It is raining, that's the one problem, but it's going to become cloudy soon enough. But it's just so nice to have uh, almost a secondary wheel. Oh, man. Once I get the full secondary wheel, though, that is when the real battle begins. Oh, is that actually... Man, Shenron just flying around in the background is just so cool. At least I know that he's probably not evil. And that if I go over to him, he won't, like, destroy me. He could still one-hit me with his claws <laughs> by accident, because that evil one one-hit me with his claws. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Come on. I know that it's raining, but it's not that difficult just to climb up, like, five feet. I could climb five feet in the rain. And I'm not even a climber. That's not in my DNA. Okay, I'm just gonna grab some spicy peppers while I'm here. And maybe uh, smack some pots around. Yes! Because if I ever need more spicy peppers, which I should actually cook while I'm here, I'm just gonna do like a ton of cooking. Oh yeah, Amber, why not? Well, at least whenever I can. And at least I have the ability just to create fire without using fire arrows, which is... A good thing, uh, considering the fact that I still I don't have any fire arrows left, I don't think. I have bomb arrows, I could bomb it to the ground. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait until the rain goes away, and then I'm gonna do some cooking, and head over to the challenge, the very hard challenge shrine, because I have some good strategies. But, I don't know, I, I might show a bit of cooking. I'm just, I'm still gonna run around grabbing mushrooms while the rain goes away. I just noticed that a farmer's pitchfork does the same amount of damage as a soldier's spear. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's... Uh, pitchforks and spears, they're, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah. Because farmers are able to go into battle with this and be able to fight soldiers. Yeah, it's the way things work, of course. Ah, uh, the rain has finally gone away. I grabbed an extra lizard that I found running by, so... I can get another elixir that is uh, for running fast, which is a very important thing. Look at the saturation here. It is incredible. This is not altered by me in any way whatsoever. Now this is altered by me in every way whatsoever. But, essentially, it's just... It looks really cool. I love the saturation. I used to always turn up the saturation like crazy, crazy high on uh, GTA 4. <laughs> It just kind of happened, because I liked to do that, but, yeah. I have a flint, and I have a pen, and... Boom! I, I said... Okay. Boom? I'm really bad at poking. There we go. Boom! Fire! I'm, I'm gonna actually light... No, it doesn't actually do it. I thought that that would just light on fire if I'm just standing close enough with my pitchfork. Uh, I should probably put that on my back, just so it doesn't actually destroy me. Oh well. Time to cook. 
So the biggest question is how big of a defensive bow? Oh boy. Three toughness increases of defense. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think that's probably pretty good. Because it says high level defense boost for four minutes. So if I do another... I'll I'll do another five one yet again, and maybe I'll do a four because I I should use up all of my mushrooms because there's there's nothing else that you can use them for essentially. As far as I know, there might be something else to be cooking them with, but nah, you might as well just put all of them together. Then yeah, because there's there's no other way of upgrading. I don't think essentially if you have a lot of one thing that increases a certain particular stat. Cook them all at once, because then it will give you the high level boost, plus the time. Although at the same time, you might be able to boost the time with other things. I don't know, I don't think you can, because if you put, like, an apple in there, or just increase the health, not the actual effect. You need more of that one kind of thing for that kind of effect, which means I also need to cook a bunch of peppers. Just because I need more, uh, resistance for the cold, in case I get into cold again. Which will happen, definitely. <laughs> hey! I think this is higher than what I had before. Maybe it's because I didn't have five peppers at once. Because 17 minutes and 30 seconds is really, really good. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey! Yeah! Uh, maybe there's just a bit of RNG with it, because that one gave me... more than 12 minute 30. Which is really strange that sometimes it gives you... It's like... Let's look at the, the different stats on the food there. Oh, I guess I can't get out of materials because I'm holding stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just skip that cooking just to... Yeah, that one's just a regular spicy again. But then why... Why is that one special? I think it might just be RNG. There's no other explanation that I currently have, like, other than RNG. It has to be RNG. <laughs> How? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, this should be the last thing I'm cooking for now, I think. Just a few more apples. It's always a good idea. Because who doesn't love simmered fruit? Because when you put three apples together, it also creates other kinds of fruits. Through the power of cooking, it... It's some sort of magical conjuration that uh, Slink has, because... I, I also partially called him Slink. That could be ah, his new name, essentially. But... Uh, Oh yeah, and that's also the problem if you're trying to claw the controller. You hit the home button, by the way. <laughs> it, it partially happens. But, uh, let's just sort this thing. There we go. I have a bunch of fruit to keep me hungry. And, uh, yeah, it will keep me hungry for them because it... I see them and I'm just like, oh, it looks so delicious, but I'll, I'll have it later. Maybe, maybe a bit later. But yeah, Link has some pretty impressive uh, powers of conjuration from Skyrim and stuff like that. I I very much appreciate it. So, it's off to this shrine. Oh boy, this is going to be a difficult test of strength, I think. But... I think it's a test of strength that I am ready for now. Because I will... I, I'm going to armor myself up so much that it's impossible for me to die. I am going to destroy this thing. That is my plan, because I... He showed me no mercy before, and I will show no mercy to the point that I want my stuff. Well, that I, and I'll, I will get my stuff, most importantly. Because I really, really want my chest piece. It's not that important, because the pants in and of themselves help enough. Because look at this. That's, that's pretty powerful pants. Well, those are pretty powerful pants. I'll, I'll actually wear them for this, because still, as I said, I'm going to make myself so overpowered that he'll never be able to murder me. He showed no mercy, so I wear my Nintendo Switch shirt, and I look like some sort of weird fanboy that likes camo. So a redneck, probably. Because <laughs> all those rednecks and their camo. That happens. Okay. For the power of the Nintendo Switch shirt, I will prevail. <laughs> Oh, boy. But yeah, I have a lot more defense now, plus some iron mushrooms. I think that that should probably be a, a decent amount of defense. Probably. If it isn't, I don't know what is a decent amount of defense, to be honest. Because, holy crap, man. 
So, I think I should probably uh, change my weapons first and foremost before I actually get in here. Because what I was doing with my Thunder Blade was actually a smart idea. Because the Thunder Blade does... It does some pretty amazing things. It actually shocks him and stops him and pops him and locks him. Uh, then I think I'm gonna switch over to Night Claymore. Just gonna do practice wing. Okay. It acts pretty much exactly like a, a regular Claymore. Because once I stun him, then I can do that. Then I can uh, win, but maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna get into the combat first, and then I'll put on my uh, power and my strength, because this is already wasting a couple seconds if I wasn't. And I'm not going to lose. There is no way I can lose this, unless I'm just really really bad, <laughs> which is always an option. But three minutes and twenty seconds. Let's do this. High level defense. Bridges, ahoy! Okay. There we go, I think that... Also, please, let me uh, get... Ah, oh, it didn't do it. That was only a quarter of a heart of damage? Yeah, I can just, like, tank this guy then, essentially. Please, hit this. But yeah, I can tank him, which is really weird to say the least. Because I shouldn't be able to tank. Yes! This is what I wanted. Fury Rush with this soldier's claymore is probably going to help me. Ah, oh, he just has a really weird kind of attack pattern. It's not like he's trying to stab me. What the heck, man? Ah, oh, here we go. I don't have anything to protect me. Right over here. Okay, here we go. Just keeps claymoring him, and you should be fine. Yeah, what's what's with the stabs? Why does he keep wanting to stab me? Come on, do it! I dare you. I don't know what my defense values are right now, but I think they're pretty high, whatever they are still. And I'm already down to a quarter of his health, because still I have the confidence of a madman right now when it comes to killing this guy, because he has slow attacks that are weak and pathetic, and he keeps trying to stab me, and his, his stabs are actually pretty crap. Oh, I thought he was actually- ah, there we go. I was waiting for this. When he gets down below half health is when I'm gonna have to worry about actually wasting my time attacking him, but for now, this is actually really good. Come on, try to attack me. You pathetic weakling! Oh, no. So I guess he can still one-hit you. Maybe I shouldn't be overly confident like that. Man. That's not fair. But now I know as well that uh, my Claymore is not even going to be enough to take him down completely. So I am going to have to rely on... Probably Lizalfos boomerangs and stuff like that. They're not very powerful in the way of like surviving, which is a big problem for me. Uh, but I have I have pitchforks. Oh boy, I'm just gonna use Claymore for like the entirety of this, pretty much. Okay, because this is the only thing I can think of that would be a good idea is uh, using the buff to damage protection. If I have damage protection on, it should, in theory, stop him from destroying me. Because it did one time, but oh, I think it's the... Oh, here we go. I think it's the kind of attack, like the swipe. So if he swipes with the left, I'm fine. If he swipes with the right, that kills me. So I got to avoid that, because it's a bigger sword. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's this is an easy one. I should probably start swinging myself up, but nah. Just nice and slow. Take it slow. Okay. I think that's what it is, is that he does two and three quarters of a heart of health on me. So I need to actually be careful. Eat some apples. I need to have full health, essentially. Uh, anything else weak that I can be eating? I can have 30, oh, 52 apples. I thought it was 32. 52 apples is good enough for me. Okay, well... Yeah, his sword just in general looks bigger now. Much more frightening. Oh no. I don't think I'm in the right position for this. Here we go. 
Pull out the sword, get ready to rumble. Because you are dying this day, sir. The stabs are just so bad. Oh, I think that's what it is too. Oh no. He, he took off a, a quarter of a heart of health on me, so that means I have to actually heal. As bad as it sounds, I have to heal, so apples ahoy. There's a reason why I grab so many apples. They're useful for taking away the... or for healing that quarter of a heart that I need. Okay. But yeah, whenever he does the spin, he does a different kind of... Yeah, he switches where his weapons are. Because that one weapon is the one that one hits you, I still think. The one on the left is not too bad. Oh man, if only I would have got that. I need a Fury Rush on him still. But also I need to keep hitting him down faster, because if he takes away all my pillars before he gets down to half health, then I'm partially screwed. Okay, he does a swing. Ah, and a miss. Okay. Good to know. Yes! That I should not have counted as part of the timing, but I'll take it. I'll take it, Breath of the Wild. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, here we go. He's down uh, about a third of health, I think, now. I got this. <laughs> as my voice is killing itself. Ugh. Come on. Come on. I bet you want a Fury Rush, don't you? It's, it's a really weird kind of... Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to make it behind this. Go, 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 go! Oh, that was close. Whew. Keep spinning. Keep spinning. Okay. That probably should have hit me. Yeah, whatever he starts spinning up that one, uh, just avoid. Okay, I got one weapon damaged. I think that now I have to go into Thunderblade and then switch. Or... Mm. I want to keep my boomerang, but the boomerang is the next kind of weapon to be using, I think. But giant boomerang it is, I think. My giant boomerang should be beneficial enough to... killing. So that's all I need to do, is just murder. Because that's what it is all on the wild side. That's what Motley Crew always told me. Okay, I'm just gonna keep protecting myself back here a little bit. Oh no. Well, if you if you want to smack yourself into this again, knock yourself out. Oh ho ho! And be my guest. Okay, I have 17 seconds. I'm gonna have to be paying attention to the time here. Oh, he's getting into a spinny mo mode. Let's see. Is there anything I can really do? Stasis probably wouldn't be a thing. Um, Magnesis probably wouldn't be a thing either. What if I throw a bomb over at him? Yeah. Oh no. I think that I just am gonna have to avoid for that amount of time. There's nothing I can really do. Nothing I can do about it. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I might have hurt him inside a little bit. He feels bad about himself now. Actually, you know, speaking of feeling bad about himself, Actually, he's just going into spinny mode. There's nothing I can really do still here. Although, I... I'm gonna take a chance. I wanna see if the bo dropping the bomb actually does do anything. I have another four minutes. I might as well. Taking those chances. I said, taking those chances. There we go. Bombs ahoy! Okay, he doesn't really care about bombs. And also, if I just attack right now, it does no damage to him, essentially. Because... What happens is that... I pretty much only do damage to him. Oh, I was hoping that the jump toward would actually count as a flurry rush as well. <laughs> See, I think that what he's doing here is just trying to uh, get rid of my... time... and my space. Gotta think of something. What can I do here? Maybe if I just throw an arrow at him? Yeah. That stuns him enough that he's just like, ah. So I'm just gonna keep doing that then. Okay, I, let's actually get this proper. Ah! That was not proper. Okay. That's the one that I don't like. Yes! 
just double jump on him, then you're pretty much safe, and it gets you some damage. Okay, here we go. He's he's gonna yeah, he's going into that other mode. I'm just gonna shoot arrows at him whenever he does this. This Hey, I'm hurting ya! Oh, that even hit you right in the eye. How about that? You like it? You enjoy getting hit in the face with arrows? I wonder if I actually try some bomb arrows on him. Ow! Okay, he did a quarter of a heart of damage, that means more. <laughs> oh, I gotta be safe. Because he, he shows me no mercy, so I show him none. That's the way it works. In Dark Souls, I get hit sometimes as well. Especially when I'm being too, uh... I'm, I'm not being careful, but at the same time I am. I'm so close to where he is right now. There we go. I think that's what it is. You have to wait and then attack him. And then also take advantage of him getting up off the ground. Oh! Oh, that was close, man. Oh well, I'm just gonna attack him from behind. He's... Not even attacking in my direction. <laughs> okay. Uh, do it once more. Okay. Also, I think I have to hit him right in the eye. That might be partially it. Ah, whatever. I only have one arrow left. I'm gonna save it. I'm doing some damage on him. Ow! Oh, that does a quarter of a heart of damage to me, please. I don't appreciate your quarter of a heart of damage. Whatever. Yes! It damaged- well, it broke, but at least at the same time, it's good in a way that it breaks. Uh, I need more high damage. I'm gonna waste all my high damage weapons on these guys. Well, on this one guy, that is. Okay. Oh, look at that! I dodged it at the perfect time! I'm right behind you, but... Ah, oh, man. I think it's just whenever you have a certain amount of damage on him, then he does this. Yeah, I think you have to do hit him in the eye. So I'm going to instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna waste up one of my bomb arrows. Ooh! Well, he's on fire now. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna use a bomb arrow when he's open. Oh no. I missed. Well that was unfortunate. Yeah, I like how slow he is with his Attacks, even though he hit me from behind. Okay, cool. No! Please stop doing this. There's nothing I can do! I don't even have a bow out anymore. I need to equip a new one. Uh, gotta have that phallic bow. Okay, let's do this. What happens if I try to ice him? I have no arrows whatsoever left. Why am I in, like, first person right now? Hey, look at that! This is actually... I think it actually works! Okay, I'm gonna do that next time he attacks me, too. Okay. Just gonna keep attacking. Please get into, like, glory kill mode or something. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, hello! Please don't go through this. Oh! No! <laughs> he double shots you? So what do you do at that point? Do you get close? I don't think I have a weapon that can deflect. Ah, uh, get in the air, get over to the side. Why does it... I just wish that it wouldn't use that kind of new attack right when I'm that far down on him. And I've done so much... I've done so much effort and so much work to get him down that much health. And then it's just like, oh yeah, here, here you just get destroyed. Okay. <sighs> Plans. I think if you get too close to the Guardian and basically climb them at that point, they can't touch you when they're uh, targeting their laser. So maybe that might be my idea. I'm not too sure, but I might just have to cut out my next attempt other than like the last final stage essentially because it's just like it takes way too long this is just a waste of time almost but I can win this definitely it's just that it's a time-consuming thing and I'm just like 
Man. I'm gonna beat this. It's just... It's like 10 minutes. It'll be another 10 minutes before I kill him because it takes that long to get him down that much health again. Oh, I'm just about to get into the final mode. I think this might actually be even it. I don't know, I think he has one more of these. I'm not gonna use my ice arrow yet, because I'm gonna try to freeze him while he is charging up. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna climb on top of him and make sure that he does not do anything, and he will pay. He will pay the price for his, uh... Uh, oh, what the heck? Oh, I think he's charging up. Okay, I think I just have to attack him. Please? No! Just keep running around him, and I might survive! <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> I don't like this! Okay, also, my weapon broke. This might just be an okay strategy. <sighs> okay, I need to keep using weapons. Thunderblade! Please be stunned. Okay, he doesn't get stunned. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running. That's the idea. Just keep running. He can't hit you if he can't see where you are. And that is constantly everywhere at once. Thunderblade, don't fail me now. Also, I'm really hoping that just keeps charging. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't like this. This is ridiculous. Okay, keep running. Just keep running. Pretend it is the Mexican hat dance of the most deadly one ever. It's like he's running around a crocodile from Mexico. Oh, boy. My heart was beating crazy on that one portion. What the heck is this? I don't know, but I want it. Ancient Core. This ancient crystal was made using lost technology. At one time, it was the power source for ancient machines. This item is very valuable to researchers. Oh, yes, and I have lots of shafts and gears and screws. That's exactly what I need. Also, a bunch of guardian weapons, which I don't know if I even have the space for these. At least I didn't destroy my Thunderblade too much. It was still worth it to keep out and uh, try to still pretend I'm Robin from Fire Emblem with this amazing uh, lightning sword. But, uh, holy crap. Gotta switch back to fi Farmer's Pitchfork. Guardian Spear Plus Plus. This Guardian Spear's output has been boosted to the maximum. The spearhead is designed for optimal stabbing, capable of easily piercing most armor. Okay. Then Guardian Sword Plus Plus 40. Th this might actually help me a lot on killing guardians. I'm gonna maybe save these weapons then, in, in case I do actually have to fight a guardian. Because 40 damage, I do not need to use that for anything currently. That Even for mini bosses, that seems a little bit overkill. Because these things are gonna get destroyed pretty quickly, I don't know. The abilities of the Guardian Sword have been boosted to the maximum! As evidenced by its increase in size, it slices through armor like hot knife through butter. And this one... <laughs> the Agent Battle Axe Plus Plus. <coughs> oh baby, this is good. The Agent Battle Axe's damage output is backed out and scaled to, to peak performance. Ancient technology makes it possible to enhance cutting power beyond metal weapons limits. Yeah, that's probably why that one is the one that uh, was one hitting me before. Because 60 damage, it just rips through me. Holy crap. I have good weapons now. I don't know if I should rearrange my weapons in order of effectiveness or whatever. Again, sort through them. But I'm going to keep using farmer's pitchforks and stuff for now anyway. I have guardian weapons that are pretty good. And I only wasted... How many apples is that? Uh, not even too bad. I have 47 apples still. I used up an entire row of food. Two of them was uh, were the tough iron mushroom skewer and stuff. Yeah, skewer. <laughs> and then there's... Uh, I, I got... I actually used quite a few summered fruit. This better be what I've been looking for. 
So, you know, I still haven't found what I'm looking for, but... This might be it. This might finally be it! The legendary climbing gear! Ancient technology, and this gear will make you climb better and be a better climber. The special no-slip gloves help you to use your energy more efficiently to uh, facilitate more nimble climbing. Yeah, because I think that's what it is, is that when you actually have the full set on, the set bonus is uh, that you actually use less stamina to climb things. Like, the... What am I doing? I'm not gonna have that in my hands. It actually doesn't look too bad. It, it kind of looks like he's going into a sex dungeon or something like that. I don't know, but at the same time, I kind of like it. I don't know. Makes him look strong and fierce. It's gonna walk that runway, runway with style. Ah, oh, yeah, Link. Work that thing. But yeah, I am... Now that I have full gear, I might n need to go completely back to naked. So at least that's all sorted. So, yeah. Now that I... I can just put that on whenever I climb. When I'm not climbing, I don't need to have it on. So, completely naked from this point on yet again. Aw, oh, yeah. And another spirit orb, which is very, very useful. This was a very difficult challenge, yes. But it was a very worthy challenge, nonetheless, because... Man, I have a ton of good weapons. I have my full climbing set that will make me able to climb even the tallest of mountains, especially now with my increased stamina, which I almost have two full wheels. Once I have two full wheels plus the climbing set, I don't think I should really have to worry about anything for climbing. And I'm really hoping that it stacks for climbing speed that makes you just climb like insanely fast when you have all three on at once. Well, at least that's still the hope. Not too sure if it will actually work that way, but... Oh, Link, since you're on the island naked yet again... The moon is going through the sky really quickly. That's hurtling through the air at... Hundreds of millions of kilometers per hour. It's going to now... Turn its trajectory because another moon collides with it and then it will head directly into the world. Everyone will die. Oh yeah, it seems like I climb so much slower without actually any bandanas or anything on. But I, it's okay. It's alright. Uh, until I actually have to climb something. Climb something. Then I, it shouldn't actually be much of a problem. But... Speaking of climbing and stuff... Actually, I could just... I could fast travel across. I don't even need to do my... Uh, cryonis. I was gonna do that. I was gonna cryo my way across the water. But... I have, uh, I have a plan. I must go to the beach and save the day. Because there are supposedly monsters on the beach. I don't know. I, I heard a lead. So back to the ancient tech lab it is. And then down onto the beach and murder some enemies. Like the evil monsters that are brainless that they are.